tonight, the family of Tyree Nichols will hold a news conference. Nichols, as you know, died three days after being beaten by Memphis police officers. The horrifying video was released on Friday. Reverend Al Sharpton and attorney Ben Crump are scheduled to speak at tonight's event at 830. We'll have updates tonight on CBS4ND.com and on CBS4 News at 11. The family will speak after three members of the Memphis Fire Department have been fired. They responded to the Nichols scene on a call of a person being pepper sprayed. One of them never left their emergency vehicle. Fire officials say the other two did not give an adequate assessment of Nichols condition. Well, the investigation is bringing attention to specialty enforcement units at departments across the country. IPD has specialty enforcement units. As Russ McQuaid reports now, none of them resemble the Scorpion Squad in Memphis that's been disbanded. Not all of IMPD's patrolling is done by a man or a woman in a marked car wearing a uniform. Many officers and detectives have specialized training, assignments, and supervision to go after specific crimes and suspects. Take the Violent Crimes Unit. It targets specific people wanted for specific violent crimes. This weekend, detectives with that unit were pursuing a suspect wanted for a shooting in Broad Ripple. They and other patrol officers caught up with that suspect, leading to a shootout that left the man wounded. In addition to that, IMPD has several specialty units looking for guns, wanted and violent offenders, drugs, and robbery crews. However, none of those units are designed to sweep through neighborhoods without specific assignments like Memphis's Scorpion Unit. IMPD says that tighter training, supervision, and deployment helps them avoid a Memphis-like incident of group police misconduct. So you're supervised by people who have experience, uh, many times years of experience uh, in these specializations and how to uh, navigate through these processes safely and uh, being consistent with the values of IMPD. IMPD says supervisors vet the assignments handed to its specialty units, helping them focus on taking specific offenders off the streets. Our expectation of specialty units is when they walk out the door, they have a plan and a specific person uh, location or behavior that they're looking to address. The General Orders Board oversees the rules that guide the training and practices of IMPD officers. It's citizen-led and citizen-majority, and its chairman said what he saw in the Memphis police video would never be accepted in Indianapolis. I saw several things that I happen to know as the chairman of the General Order Board, or Orders Board, is just not the way the police officers are trained. I know that from what I what I know in the policy and some of the training that we've had to go through ourselves. Chairman Bosley says the community by and large doesn't know IMPD has specialty enforcement units, but they know that they work. The task force we have and by and large, the approach to policing that we are seeing is yielding some decrease in violent crime. Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News.